Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so we've recently found out that we had to make some changes to the cores that we were making available on HackyResources.com. So just like game ROMs, how it is illegal to distribute those, it is also illegal to distribute game BIOS files for like uh, Sega or arcade games. Those are illegal as well. So some modifications had to be made to the essential core set on the HackyResources.com webpage. So all the BIOSes have been taken out of those cores. Well, you may be thinking, how are we going to run those without the BIOS files? Very easy. Uh, the team over at HackTresources.com, along with Cluster, have made this mod that will install the BIOS files for you. Now we cannot give you the BIOS files, so you have to do the searching for those by yourself. But to just give you an idea of what files you're looking for, we have this picture made up for you guys. You can see here that the Genesis Plus GX core is going to be affected. Um, the two main cores, uh, TurboGrafx-16 core, Game Boy Advance, and again, like I said, the other Genesis cores are going to be involved. Um, so if you hold on to this photo, freeze this video, and, and copy all this down, do a search for these BIOS files. I guarantee you'll find them. Actually, once I heard about this, first thing I did was do my Google search found my BIOS files, no problem. They're actually really easy to find. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games, you're fine. No BIOS is needed for those, so I thought that was great news because those are probably one of the main cores I use besides the arcade cores. But really, this is only adding one more step to the process, and it's a very easy, easy step. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that right now. So once you have your HackChi installed, um, you've already dumped your original kernel, you flash your custom kernel. All intents and purposes, your HackChi is ready to go. Your Super Nintendo is hacked. So first thing to do, we're going to be doing a test with um, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for the Game Boy Advance core. I have the Game Boy Advance BIOS right here, the BIOS installer, and the Game Boy Advance core that I got from HackChi Resources Essential Core Pack. You're going to go into your HackChi folder and then user underscore mods. You're going to place your HMOD files right in here. We have them already in this folder. So all I'm going to do is highlight them and drag them over. So how the BIOS installer HMOD works, let's open that up. How this installer works is you take the BIOS file we have right here. We're going to copy our Game Boy BIOS. Go to the ETC folder, Librito, System, and right here, we have a note saying put BIOSes here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna paste our Game Boy Advance BIOS there. So we are all done with that part. Next thing to do is to connect your Super Nintendo to your PC and turn it on. So we get the green light in the bottom corner here for Hackchi. There we go. You're gonna go to your modules tab, install extra modules. So here is our list of modules. We have the BIOS template, and it just explains how to do what I just told you. Put the BIOS file in the specific folder that I showed you. We're gonna put a check mark next to that. Also, make sure you have RetroArch Neo installed. Again, you have to have that core installed for any of the other cores to work uh, related to game systems and stuff like that. So RetroArch Neo has to be installed. Put a check mark next to that. And then we're gonna put a check mark next to our MGBA core for RetroArch. If you hit OK, a bar will appear on your screen. It'll fill in green all the way. And once it's filled in, it means that these cores are installed to your system and they're ready to go. Uh, the next step would to be find your Game Boy Advance game. Like I said, we have Final Fantasy 1 and 2 here. Uh, we're going to hit Synchronize. So this is transferred from our PC to our SNES Classic. We're all set. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and we'll see how this runs. And of course, in the description, I'll have a link to the BIOS installer as well as HackGResources.com and the Essential Core Pack for you. Okay, so here we are, Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Here is the test. Let's see if it runs. RetroArch loading, that's a good sign. It's always good. There we go, Game Boy Advance works. Let's get into it just a little bit. Make sure it is functioning okay. Push start, yes. Uh, Final Fantasy. If you haven't played the Final Fantasy series, this would be a good one to start out with. This was a good um, port of the game on the Game Boy Advance. And I seem to be hitting all the wrong buttons because I'm going backwards because I forget that B and A are different when you're talking about the Game Boy Advance. So yeah, all these generic names ready to go. We are. 
yeah, and there you go. Game starts up great. So yeah, um, from now on, any game core files you find anywhere um, from any of the developers aren't going to have the BIOS files included. You have to include those yourself. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. I want to thank everybody over at the HackGresources.com team. Um, and thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.